In this video, we are going to discuss CSMS CA multiple access protocol. CSMS CA stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access Collision Avoidance. CSMS CA is mainly used for wireless communication. CSMS CA is used for wireless network. In wireless network, most of the energy is lost due to transmission. And so, collision can add only 5 to 10 percent additional energy which cannot be well detected. So, the point is very vital. In case of wireless network, the most of the energy will be spent to transmitting our data. And that is why if any collision occurs, if, if any overlapping of messages or signals will occur, that will add hardly 5 to 10 percent of additional energy which is very dif difficult to get recognized. So, so collisions are avoided using three CSMS CA strategies. What are they? First one is the interframe space, next one is the contention window and the last one is the acknowledgement which was not there in the earlier cases. So, let us go for one by one. So, here you see at first the continuously the media will be checked, continuously the media will be checked. If the media is, is not idle then obviously no, no question of transmission of any data. But when the media will be checked that it is found idle, then it will wait for IFS. The full form of IFS is inter-frame space, it will wait for that. And then after waiting for this IFS, then there is a binary exponential, there is a contention window. That means there will be some n number of slots are there. I think you are getting me, n number of slots are there, it will wait. After that, it will send a frame and then, then it will time out and along the x axis we have plotted the time. So, this is the respective logic or the sequence in which the CSMS CA work. So, now let us I think it will be better if you go for one algorithm that means one good flow chart. So, here we are having this flow chart you know in your exam copy you should write such flow charts which will carry good marks for you. So, we are starting with the start then k is equal to 0. Is the channel idle? No, then go on continuously checking which we had idea here. So, that has been done here also. Now, if the channel is idle, then idle, then go for wet IFS that is inter frame space IFS. So, it will wait for this IFS. Still idle? No, then go for this continuous checking. Otherwise, yes, then choose a number there is random number capital R between 0 to 2 to the power of k minus 1. So, there is a random number it will be selected in between this respective range. Initially, the k is having, having the value 0 and wait for R slots. We got this idea here. This, this is known as contention window. So, wait for the R slots and then send frame. We know that in this case, it requires acknowledgement. So, wait for wait time out and then acknowledgement received. If it is yes, then it will success, it will stop. Otherwise, no, then k will be increased by 1. And if k value is greater than 15, if it is so, then it will abort. If the k value is not 15, that is less than or equal to 15, then it will go and it will check this idle channel or not. In this way, the CSMS CA respective algorithms will be working and the algorithm has been expressed in the form of a flowchart. I think in this video, we have got the idea how does CSMS CA work. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.